Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are going to be unboxing our BoxyCharm Base Boxes Sister vs. Sister Edition for January of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with the BoxyCharm Base Box subscription, it is a monthly beauty subscription where you get five full-size beauty products each month for $27.99 plus a $1.99 handling fee on top of that. If you choose a product on choice day, then you can choose one product. So four are kind of selected by BoxyCharm and one is your choice if you make the choice selection on choice day. Welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there and welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina. Sister's name is Rachel, and on this channel we unbox lots of different subscription boxes, um, a lot of beauty ones as well. So if you like subscription boxes, you like beauty boxes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, and let's dive in. We are so happy that you're here hanging out with us today with another sister versus sister video. We love to hang out with y'all. All right, so the theme this month is so fresh and so clean. I love the just light lilac purple color. Um, and then on the back, the card shows all the items you received, a brief description, um, the price, and then the variation, which I have th variation 31. Me too. So we have the same box this month. Now we do have a complexion, not a complexion product, but a product that's a different shade, but uh, twinning this month for the boxes. All right. So the first thing that we received is from Anastasia at Beverly Hills, and this is their dip brow gel, which retails for $20. Now this was the choice product and we each chose this. Mm -hmm. Now I got mine in soft brown. We did a medium brown for hers. Honestly, I probably could have gone with a medium brown and you with a dark brown, but like, I don't know. Oh, this looks good for me. Does but, this look good for me? I yeah, okay. I think that looks good for you. Okay, all right. I never know. Like, I can't tell with my brows because I have blonde hair, but my brows are not. So I never know what shade to get. So let's see. This is a waterproof formula that's supposed to last up to 12 hours. Um, and this is what it looks like out of the packaging. It says the unique applicator allows color to be applied directly onto the brow hairs as well as the skin for a natural looking finish. What does it look like? Oh, so it's, oh, it's a tiny just, little brush. It's a little wand. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I normally use powder and then I use a brush to put it on. So I'm excited to try like a tinted gel. Yeah, I normally just, I go in with a pencil to add some definition and then I go in with a brow gel. Normally it's a clear brow gel, but I definitely will try this out because yeah, Anastasia Beverly Hills is a really good brand. So I'm very, very excited about this. Let's show them the comparison of the colors. Maybe they don't look too far off, but the, mine's definitely darker. Is it? Yeah. Barely. Barely. Like, barely, barely. But, um, yeah, very, very cool. All right, next up, we 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 with thieves. We with thieves. We thieves. <laughs> we're never gonna forget that. Yeah. All right, next up, we, we, oh my God. We retrieved. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. All right, so next up, we received an item by Touch and Soul. It's their Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream. This retails for $38. It comes in a really pretty box. And the color kind of matches, like, Ooh, the yes. vibe, which I'm here for. <gasps> Ooh, it's a really, really pretty container. Wait. It's glass, well, I it's can't, plastic. it's plastic. And then a lid, let's see if it smells. I wanna see what it smells like, yeah. <gasps> oh, it doesn't have a smell, but it's a really pretty like pink gel. Yeah. gel. Uh, it's a gel moisturizer too, which I love. I think this is going to be perfect for like summer or spring. For me, this is even good in the winter. Yeah. Um, it is a little shiny. It's a little greasy. Um, now it is a glowy. So is this going to work for our skin? We both have oily skin. Uh, when it goes in, it actually looks really nice. It actually does add aluminum, not that you're gonna tell the difference, but it does add luminosity. I'll have to try this for my skin because honestly, yeah. like, I get, my skin is very picky with moisturizers. It, when it settles in, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I do like that. It feels good. It just takes yeah. a minute to absorb into the skin. It's not greasy once it's like into the skin. Okay, cool. Cause at first I touched it and it was and it like. It almost looks like blurring. Like if you oh. look at my two hands, like one, yeah. you can see all the lines and stuff. And on the other one, like you can't see the lines anymore as mm. much. So, ooh, okay. We'll have to try it It out. might like hide wrinkles or like creases on the face. Okay, I'm here for that. Cause there's, yeah. you're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but in real life, there's a genuine notice difference between my two hands yeah so. okay and it does say that it is a lightweight skin tightening cream that will keep you moisturized with its hydrolyzed collagen and hyaluronic acid formula protect for all skin types this face cream will restore plumpness and firmness to give you a youthful all-day glow so I feel like it could do that for your hand like it can tighten yeah. it and so well, yeah I'm actually I'm actually pretty excited about this mm-hmm 
All right, so up next, we received a product from Tarte. This is their C collection. It's their Breezy Cream Blush, which retails for $27. Now, I got mine in Pink Sky, and you got yours in... Peach Sunset. So we did get two different shades. Now, she did get $6 in cre store credit because they got her shade wrong for one of the products. It wouldn't have been the brow thing because we chose that. So yeah. my guess would be that it was for this. I'm not sure. We're going to have to just, like, see... Oh, it's like a soft it's matte oval. packaging. That's cute. Now it I, gives me summer vibes. Ooh. That's what mine looks like. That's, that's mine. Actually, I'm not mad at the shade that I If I've anything, seen. I feel like my shade is too dark, potentially. Yeah. But, but I, I do think it would look really pretty. But I'm pretty sure the email address that it came to was the one for your box. Yeah. Anyway, now I don't really use cream products. That's the only Neither thing. Do I. So I don't really, it's a, I love this shade, but I genuinely don't really know how much use I'm actually gonna get out of this blush because cream products on me just don't work that well because I'm so oily. It just, it's not a great look for me. So not mad about it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not yet, but it is like, it's nice. It's yeah. really, really nice. So it has a silky formula and it helps um, with a fresh, youthful appearance by minimizing the look of pores and fine lines and helps smooth and hydrate the skin with slip grip technology powered by marine plants, coconut, and sodium hyaluronate. No, it doesn't smell. Okay. So it's nice. I may try it out, but I'm just not really a cream face product person, so. Yeah. Next up, we received a item by True and Luscious. It's their Angel Eyes Primer, and this retails for $22. Now, we both received the shade Light Nude. Oh, it's purple. Okay, I'm loving like the purple theme vibe going on yeah. here. It's fun. Uh, that being said, neither of us really uses eyeshadow primers. I don't use it at all. So, I don't know. It does have a little, what is this kind of applicator called? I don't know. It's it's a very yellow. Like if you look on the side, it's a yellow. It's yellow. Like it's yellow. I don't know. <laughs> is it yellow? <laughs> it's yellow. I don't really know that. It's infused with rose extract, so that's cool. Yeah, I feel like that's a really good product, but like Katrina said, I don't use when I do use eyeshadow, I don't use a primer for it. Um but it does look like a good eyeshadow primer. Yeah, it looks nice. I yeah. just don't know how much use I'll get out of it. And it does say that it's vegan, cruelty-free, and safety tested, so I absolutely love that. And it also says on here that it for, la makes your eyeshadows last up to 16 hours. So if that's true, then that's really, really nice. And then, last but not least, we received a product from Farah, and this is their liquid eyeliner, which retails for $20 and is a new launch. I did get this in my PR box, and when I do my PR unboxing, I also do a try-on. So if you want to see me try on the stuff that came in my PR base box. It was different than this box. This is the only thing that's the same. Um, and I really did enjoy this eyeliner. This is what it looks like here. We both received the black velvet shade. Yep. Um, and it says it goes on matte. Did, was it matte? Yeah, one? it's. Okay. it works like a pretty much a regular liner and it is a felt tip. Really, really nice. I enjoyed using it. I love liquid eyeliners like these. I think they're so good for people who don't do it often to help get a nice straight line. Yep. So they're very forgiving. I'm going to swatch. Okay, well, don't judge. My it's line the is the bottom not straight. one. The other one's from yes. Ipsy. <laughs> the bottom one, um, it's not a straight line. I promise I do better in real life, but it's definitely turning matte and it looks really nice. It was smooth when it went on. It's a good black. It's it's not like one of those blacks where you're like, uh, it's not black enough for me, but it, I really, really enjoyed it. The only thing that I'll say is that the tip is not super flexible and I'm the my favorite liner has a very flexible felt tip so you can kind of do a little bit more whoosh with I don't really know if that's a thing this one is a little bit more stiff but I did enjoy it all right so that was everything in both of our boxycharm base boxes for January so now we're going to give them a rating out of five so if we like a product and we're going to use it we'll give it a point if we don't like it not for us zero points and a half a point for products where we kind of need to try it out a little bit more and we're not sure about it now, I know we have the same box, but we like different things when it comes to makeup, so we're going to still each rate it separately. The brow gel, I'm going to give a point. The touch and soul cream, I'm going to give a point. The eyeliner, I'm going to give a point. Zero points for the eyeshadow base because I'm just not going to use it. And a half a point for this because I don't really know if I'm going to use it or not yet. So it's a three and a half out of five boxy charm. I, I feel I feel like that's fairly accurate. Like yeah. I'm not mad at this one. I thought it was a pretty good boxy charm. You get so, I mean, we got Tarte and Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's pretty good for me. So I'm pretty happy with this box. It's not my favorite box. I'm not like blown out of the water, but it's a good box. 
All right, well, I can go through everything, but to be honest, mine was the exact same. I give a point for the touch to sole, a point for the brow gel, um, a point for the eyeliner, zero points for the eye primer, it's just not something I'm gonna get use out of, and half a point for the blush. I have to try out the liquid or the cream blush and see if I'm going to use it. But again, I thought it was a really good box. Honestly, I feel kind of like it's a four out of five for me as far as feelings go. I was gonna say that, but then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's a really good box. You get skincare. It is more makeup heavy, but yeah. that's okay. Um, I like that. <laughs> yeah, there's really good brands in here, really good products. So I'm happy about it this month. Yeah, now normally we have two different variations, or not always, but so, you know, so if you do wanna see another variation of this box, again, I have already posted my PR video of the base box that I received, and that one was different for four of the products in the box. So you did get the Ferro liner. So if you do wanna see one, definitely check that video out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And we'll see you in our next video.